Dog Works Radio is sponsored by Alaska Dog Works. Check out their website at alaskadogworks.com. Here's to the great American dog trainers out there. The hundreds of you who settled for the sometimes thankless job of working with four-legged companions because they pay the bills. Of course, there's something else you could do if you've got something to say. Start a podcast with First Paw Media and unleash your creative freedom. Maybe even earn enough money to tell yourself, hey, I'm no puppy wrangler. I'm a rover. I'm a trail breaker. I'm an adventurer. Visit firstpaw.media. Wag on over today. You can support this podcast on patreon.com forward slash firstpawmedia. Hello and welcome to the podcast. I'm your host, Michelle Forto. Did you know teaching your dog impulse control is an important life skill that can help keep them safe and curb unwanted behaviors like darting out of doorways or jumping on people? Impulse control means teaching your dog to wait for permission before engaging in a specific activity. So today we are talking about impulse control and games for your dog. But before we get started, would you guys like a freebie? We are offering our very own 100 dog training tips. Just go to ak.dog forward slash 100 tips and get yours today. You can also find a link in our show notes. After the episode, ask yourself what new ideas has this conversation sparked for you? Then share this episode with a family member or friends and discuss it together. As always, message me over on Instagram at First Paw Media. And remember, dog training is a big commitment and accountability is a huge part. You can do it. I believe in you. Before I dive into this episode, I need to ask you guys that favor. I really would love it if you guys would take some time and leave us a five-star review. Something simple, two or three sentences max is perfect for telling the world about what you like about this podcast and what you have learned. Oh, and why you are a rabid listener. This helps us tremendously. Just scroll down in your favorite podcast player and click the leave a review button. Super simple. And thanks so much for tapping that subscribe button. Let's see where people are tuning in. Our most popular cities this week are Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, Madison, Wisconsin, and New York City. Oh, and hello to our listeners in Taiwan, too. We are happy you are all tuning in. But do you guys want more content? We are starting a behind-the-scenes after show on our Patreon account. Just head on over and join today, and you can get all kinds of cool perks, including exclusive access to the after show. <laughs> it's time to dive in. Are you ready? <laughs> From First Paw Media, sponsored by Alaska Dog Works Professional Canine Training Center in Anchorage, Alaska. This is Dog Works Radio, committed to families and their dogs to build lifelong and fulfilling relationships. Visit our website at dogworksradio.com. Now, here are your hosts, Robert and Michelle Forto. On today's podcast, we are talking about impulse control and games for your dog. Teaching your dog impulse control is the main focus of all dog training. Self-restraint or self-control is the meaning of impulse control. Dogs do not comprehend that they are unable to have things at the exact time they want them and also will not be able to do what they want when they have the urge. Preventing puppies from running away after seeing something they want or chewing the furniture is easy because they are so young. If they were not taught to control their impulses at an early age, their bad behavior becomes very hard to manage when they become fully grown. Your dog needs to listen to your commands and resist his immediate desires. 
which when achieved, your dog will be under control to ensure the comfort and safety of others as well as his own. Teaching your dog not to jump when visitors come over is important so that they do not upset or cause them any injury. Giving your dog permission to go out the door when you tell him is very crucial. Keeping him safe from running away along with coming to you when he is called. A phrase to use when you want your dog to leave something alone is leave it. This is a very important command to protect your dog when he comes in contact with a situation that could get him into trouble, such as finding objects on the ground or getting into the garbage that could risk his life if swallowed. Leave it will show your dog that he will get something better if he leaves something alone. Make a fist, then holding out your hand with a treat so your dog can't get it, have him sniff and lick your closed hand and say, leave it. If he barks, uses his paws or puts his mouth over your hand, just wait and do nothing. Your dog after a few seconds will stop trying. Say yes, as soon as he moves his head away from your fist and give him a treat from your other hand. Keep practicing this several times until he does this easily. I'm going to take a short break, you guys. We will be right back. We're living in uncertain times. If there is one thing we can be thankful for, that is the recent pet adoption boom. Shelters are being cleared out, and that means you may not know much about your new best friend. Alaska Dog Works virtual and on-site classes are the best way for you to build a lasting bond and learn about your pup, new or old. From setting up a proper routine to learning the commands and much more, Alaska Dog Works provides you with the resources to develop your dog into one of the best. Right now, Alaska Dog Works has an exclusive offer just for our listeners. Go to alaskadogworks.com now and use promo code DOGWORKS and save 20% off your training program at the time of your booking. Visit alaskadogworks.com and use promo code DOGWORKS to save 20% today. That's alaskadogworks.com and use promo code DOGWORKS at the time of booking. To make your dog work a little harder, your next step should be teaching him to look at you to get the treat. After you say leave it and you wait and you don't say yes, he will look at you. As soon as he does, give him his treat from your open palm. Keep practicing this until your dog has direct eye contact with you after you tell him leave it. Now he knows he has to look at you to get his treat. Practicing with treats on the floor is very important also. Put bait on the floor that your dog really does not care for. Then put your hand over it and say, leave it. Wait for your dog to stop going after the bait. When your dog looks at you, say yes and take the bait off the floor and with your other hand, give your dog a delicious treat. Continue this raising your hand higher each time until your dog learns not to take the bait. There are many objects that are safe that you could practice with in your home, such as laundry, toys, food, other safe trash and tissues. Go different places to practice, such as your friends' homes, as well as every room in your home, your yard, and on daily walks. Remember to reward your dog with treats and praise as he accomplishes learning, leave it. Now, it's time to add a challenge if your dog plays fetch. Before your dog can get the toy, make him wait until you tell him to get it. Using his leash, keeping him at your side, throw the toy and tell him to wait. Then after a brief moment of him standing still, tell him to get it and drop the leash. An exciting activity is when you take your dog for his walk. This is his special time of the day that he looks forward to. Pick up your dog's leash and wait for your dog to calm down. Tell him to sit and stay as you bring the leash clip near his collar. If he jumps up, say, oops, 
and put the leash out of his sight. Do not yell so you don't scare him. You want your dog to learn that he must sit and wait and be calm to be able to go for his walk. When he stays still, clip the leash on and say, okay, let's go. Your dog will have a safe and healthy life as he is taught these important commands and the bond between you both will be strong. So what do you think? Did you learn anything new about your canine buddy? Before we end the show, let's press pause for a sec. Maybe ask yourself, why did this resonate with me? What aspect of my relationship with my canine buddy could I apply this to? And what am I going to do differently this week to make my dog's training a little easier? Take some time to mull it over and talk it out with a family member or trusted friend. Put some ideas down in that training journal that I told you about last week. You can get at firstpaw.shop. And then check back next week for our next episode. As always, I look forward to hearing your thoughts on this episode. So reach out over on Twitter at First Paw Media and let's spark a conversation. Until then, keep going. You are doing great. It's time to create the relationship with your dog that you've always dreamed of. Thanks for listening to Dog Works Radio. You can find the show notes for this episode and all others at alaskadogworks.com. And if you know someone in your life who needs help with their dog's training, be a hero and share our podcast with them. And we will see you next time. From First Paw Media, this is Dog Works Radio. We hope you enjoyed this podcast, and we invite you to subscribe in Apple Podcasts, Spotify, Stitcher, or wherever you get your podcasts. You'll find a link on the episode notes. You can tap or swipe on the episode cover art, and you'll see some offers from our sponsors. You can support our show by supporting them. If you like what you have heard, we would love it if you could give us a five-star rating and tell your friends how to subscribe, too. Your hosts are Robert and Michelle Forto. Our producer is Robert Forto and created for First Paw Media. Did you know that Alaska Dog Works trains service dogs for those in need throughout North America? Each and every service dog that is trained through the Lead Dog Service Dog Program and Michelle Forto and her team has an individual training plan. We train for autistic, mobility, psychiatric, and PTSD for our soldiers for service work. If you know of someone that may need a service dog, please take a moment and check out Alaska Dog Works on social media and at alaskadogworks.com.